For every Catholic and for every Christian, St. Paul is a mentor and a coach for our spiritual life. In his road to Damascus experience, Paul, the persecutor of Christians, encounters the risen Christ, and his life is completely changed. He opens himself to the power of the risen Christ, and his pride and his resistances to God are broken down and melted, and he becomes one of the greatest missionaries in the history of the world. St. Paul teaches us in the road to Damascus that the Holy Spirit, the risen Christ, wants to move through our resistances, wants to break down our pride, our stubbornness, so that we can be both bold and docile in responding to the will of God for our lives. Paul teaches us that the Word of God cannot be chained. The Word of God has a unique power. Pope Francis tells us that the power of the Word of God has an unpredictable power and unleashes all sorts of surprises in our lives and in the world. We open ourselves to the unpredictable power of the Word of God leading us and guiding us through life. St. Paul teaches us about the power of the cross of Jesus Christ. He says he preached Christ crucified. He boasted in the cross of Christ. Paul's embrace of the cross helped him to open up to the missionary power of the Holy Spirit leading, guiding, and driving him. Paul had an unspecified thorn in his flesh, which kept him humble, which allowed him to embrace the power of the glory of the cross of Jesus Christ. St. Paul teaches us about the power of the Eucharist and relationship between the body and blood of Christ and the mystical body of Christ. We know that when we open ourselves to the power of the body and blood of Christ, our lives are taken to a whole nother level. All of our weaknesses become, in a certain sense, strengths with which to carry the gospel to the people we work with each and every day. We pray that the Holy Spirit, which cast a fire in the heart of St. Paul, which in turn illumined the entire world, we pray that that fire which illuminated St. Paul may illuminate our lives, our hearts, our faith, our missionary witness in the 21st century.